gotten a bunch of products. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my floor. So I thought that, um, well, I have to run into town and run a few errands. And so I thought that this great idea with a light bulb that went off in my head and thought, you know what? I should just turn on the camera and film my no makeup makeup routine, AKA quick makeup where I might potentially meet my future husband and I don't wanna look like I just crawled out of bed and somewhere in between that and super bougie extra Instagram makeup and the I just got out of bed look. So it probably seems like a lot of products, <laughs> like now that I have them next to me looking at them, but I can get this done in about 10 or 15 minutes. So I think, you know, compared to Instagram makeup that takes longer, um, I'm almost afraid to say how long it takes me to do the Instagram makeup. But, so, first things first, let's put on some ears, get all this hair that I own back there so it's not messing with our just don't like that one we'll try again don't want it messing with our face so I have a clean face right now I sure hope that you can see me well I have been testing out this angle and this is kind of the best that I could come up with on a short notice because I actually get ready in my bathroom on top of the bathroom counter with my kitchen, with my kitchen, with my feet in the sink. Oh, hey, guess what? By the way, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm Renee, if you're new here. If you're not, then now you know who I am. And it's Seattle MUA Renee on Instagram. The next video that I will be putting up, and I have a sneak peek up in my stories, and I also have a highlight dedicated to the way that I do giveaways and why I do them possibly maybe a little bit more unique than most people. I, you know, I've been burned um, by the curling iron and fake friends and fake supporters. So I've kind of all of a sudden realized, you know what, I unfortunately need to change the way that I'm doing things because what I've been doing clearly is not working. So, um, yeah, head over to my Instagram stories to check all of that out because the giveaway will be going up on here and on Instagram. And so there's a sneak peek and, um, yeah, you're going to want to, you know, pay attention and, you know, make sure you're following me. It, it actually is very perplexing. The... <laughs> The amount when I actually verify, because I do verify, that people are entering these giveaways and they're not even either subscribed to my channel or following my Instagram. And like, well, you know, would you send hundreds of dollars of makeup just to a random stranger that you've never talked to? that you've never gotten a even like from? No. So, you know, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Let's uh, put this, some makeup on this blotchy face of 
mine. So I was going to wear my Seahawks ears, but that was when I was going to wear my Seahawks shirt. So anywho, this is just a little sample, but I love this primer, the Dr. Brandt Pores No More, and it actually does really do a good job at what it says it does. So I actually, that's not enough anymore. Because I use this all over, well, not all, all over my face, okay? Especially on, uh, you know, the very light makeup days as today. By the way, if you're at all interested, my last video that I put up yesterday, day before yesterday, see, I'm, I'm doing better. I go through these spurts, and I'm trying to be more consistent, but, um, yeah, the other day I put up my June slash summer beauty favorites, and I wanted to add more, one more thing for those of you who are watching. I actually prefer, I mentioned the Saint Tropez self tanner, but this I love more. Sorry, just being honest. The Loving Tan. I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. I purchased this with my own money because I obviously saw a lot of my friends using this. I saw the pictures, the before and afters, and I'm like, you know what? I need to try it. So I got the Deluxe Bronzy Mousse in Ultra Dark. Like I stated before, you know, my rule of thumb with self-tanner is if you're going to put any on, you might as well go really dark as long as it's a formula that doesn't streak. You know, it'll... What's the point of putting on a self-tanner just to get, like, a tiny little bit of tan? Like, no, I want to I wanna look like a natural Oompa Loompa. If I'm going for it, I'm going for it. So, anywho, let's move on. So, this is the Benefit Hello Happy Softwear Foundation. I love this stuff for days like this. It uh, does have SPF in it. I haven't tested it as far as flashback goes or anything like that. I am in the shade 5. And there's 12 shades in the line. But they're very broad. And they kind of adjust to your skin tone. So 5, I feel like, could work even for cool, neutral, maybe not cool. More like neutral, warm. Um, I have kind of like an olive skin tone. So, and, you know, keep in mind, this is just me that uses this. So, I will say that this probably isn't the most sanitary way to uh, put on your foundation. So, I have a big forehead. So, obviously, we need a little bit more there. I have some acne scarring on my cheeks there. Also, while I sit here with foundation halfway on my face, I have a video, uh, a few videos ago where I go through my nighttime skincare routine. This, I believe, is a IT Cosmetics brush, unfortunately. It is very old and very well loved, so I don't know what it's called, but I love IT Cosmetics face brushes. But eye brushes, I don't love as much, but the face and the complexion brushes just, and you know, it's been really cloudy, so we're just going to for some reason, like you can <laughs> tell my chest, like this area, I have this one spot right here that just, no matter what happens, even if I'm on spring break and 
Arizona, it just, it just doesn't tan. I don't, I don't quite get it. So yeah, that's fun. So basically what I like to do, and I know everyone has a different method, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you how you should put on your makeup, because I think that whatever you feel comfortable with, if that's a lot of foundation, if that's light coverage foundation, if it's super, super heavy, like I do for Instagram looks, you know, it's all about what, what makes you comfortable. And, you know, it also depends on the season and what you're doing with your day and your life. And today, I'm not doing much neither. So that's why we're here. Well, that's why I'm here. You're not here with me. If you were, then we could do cool shit. We could go play mini golf. We could take the dogs to a park. Um, see how well that just like, it gives a nice even look and I didn't even use a whole lot. It really does blend very well. It's right there. I don't look that. Um, so I have the giveaway video that I'm going to get up. And then how I sit here talking about walking the dogs and happy stuff. Um, I mentioned in my last video kind of a little tiny bit backstory. I'm going to put this on now. I mentioned this in my last video. The Kiehl's Love Oil. Her lips. That way I can kind of soak in while I do my concealer and brows. Uh, this video is going to be longer and I'm doing a really slow job of applying because, uh, you know, I'm talking. I'm a blabber. If you didn't know that. So, um, what I was saying is I kind of hinted in my last video that one subject that I want to really have a sit down, blah, 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 sit down, talk, and just share my experiences with you guys about depression and anxiety. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't do things to get sympathy or attention, even though some people like to make believe that. That's fine. People can think whatever they want. But at the end of the day, I know how hard depression and anxiety can be. And I know that a lot of people struggle alone because sometimes when you speak up about it, things change. Friendships change, even maybe family members. There's just a lot of stigma around mental health. And to me, it's like discrimination. It's like if, if we're going to sit here and discriminate you know, I mean, I, I don't discriminate. Just, I am not at all racist, never have been. I just don't have that mentality. And so for me, I think that people that assume that your depression is something you can easily fix. Like it can just, you just do this and it'll go away. And it's just not that simple. So anywho, that's coming up in another video. What I usually use to set my face is this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. And this is the color two medium. And as you can see, it is a very well loved. But I just 
got this one, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I got the color Y315, which is, I believe, what I have in the foundation. So this is Y315. I have heard really great things about this, and I did not apply it with my favorite powder brush, so we're going to try with that. This is an IT Cosmetics brush. I think it's like the Flawless Airbrush Powder Brush, something like that. I don't know. I can try to find it and link everything below. So, it definitely, definitely mats you up. I don't quite know what I was thinking just now. The memory card situation got me a little sidetracked. Usually, I would have put on my concealer before I did this, but it's a little late now. So, let's do that. I just need a little bit. This is the NARS. Not really. It does have a lot of kickback, but I mean for a powder, I wouldn't probably, just because I do have blotchiness and some acne scarring, I probably wouldn't wear that on its own solely, but over a very lightweight foundation, it's perfect for a day like this. So I am just going to, how do I not have a concealer brush in here? Hey, you know what? My fingers are clean. Whatever. I am just going to put a little below my eyes, especially down in there. And then I'm also going to put just a little bit on my eyelids. I'm not even going to put any eyeshadow on because I don't. It's not part of my 10 makeup, no makeup, makeup look. <laughs> I just roll like this. And since I wear uh, prescription glasses now, 2019 has been the year that apparently my body and my eyes my eyesight especially, it's like, hey, guess what, Renee? We're going to start the aging process this year like we never had before, and you're going to get hit, and you're going to go blind. You're not going to be able to see shit. You're going to get wrinkles. So, yeah. But whatever happens to everyone, you know, what can you do about it? I mean, you can do a lot about it. Okay, here's where I do need a brush. So this is the Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter Powder. I do like this one very much. As you can see, the light yellow, which is just for brightening. And I really like the formula of this as well as the color. The Anastasia one, the yellow banana powder is a little darker, so I feel like this one just does a better job for, like, light, medium skin tones to... Uh, let's just grab a brush really quick here. So, I am just going to use this Sonia Kashuk brush. Probably not, like, what I would normally use, but... Definitely fits in those small crevices, so it's always a plus. It is a landscaping day out there, so I am going to use, I just love this, the Urban Decay Brow Blade. And so what I love about this in particular 
is one side has the ink stain and then one side has a pencil. So it's kind of like you get two products in one. And I mean, who doesn't want that? So I like to at first take the felt side and kind of, I can't really talk while I'm doing this. So uh, insert background music. I like to make some small and kind of extend them up more hair-like strokes. Whoa, that one. That one is actually going on vacation. I don't know where it's going. It looks like it's going to Mexico. It's not good. I don't want it to go that far. So I then take the pencil side of this. By the way, this is the shade Neutral Nana. And, you know, brows, they don't need to be, like, perfect or anything. I just like to look like I have some. That is my main objective here, especially on these no makeup makeup days so we got brows we have a flawless face kind of we're faking it and then all i'm gonna really do this i don't think you can buy anymore i was gonna use benefit hula but i wanted something a little bit more luminescent and a little bit more natural looking so this is a old Victoria's Secret bronzer and I actually wish that they still carried like the full line of makeup that they used to because honestly their shit was pretty good but it just Okay, take three of Renee's frustration with her fuckery. Fru wow, I'm so frustrated. I can't even swear right. So I have my MacBook there transferring a memory card. I have another memory card in here while that one's transferring. So what we're going to have to do is I'm going to need to stop blabbing and just show you the last few things that I do because this is probably going to shut off and I've got to, I have to research this or, you know, get someone to really help me that know, actually knows what they're doing. So anyways, oh, and the brush that I was using to put on my bronzer is a Luxie angled bronzer contour brush not sure exactly what they call that I will try to find it so now that we have our brows on this is the Urban Decay brow finish I was a die hard Anastasia brow gel and I don't know what happens sometimes right here I think it's because the pigment gets more on my skin and so it turns a little red right there in the the front end sometimes and I, I don't really appreciate that I probably maybe was pressing too hard but anywho I would like to take this and brush my fake hair strokes up and then when I get over here I like to brush them down. Happy little brows. So I pulled just a what I consider light blush. This is MAC Floor Power. It's just a really neutral peachy pinky shade so you know I feel like it gives that like natural flushed type situation and this is a MAC 
blush brush. I believe it's 120, 129. And definitely my favorite. And this thing has lasted me so long. All right, so that's that. I'm going to put on a little mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash, which I love. I am to the point now where, you know, if I'm going out in public, this is what I look like. And if I'm doing a full look or going to an event, then I do my Instagram makeup and I'm wearing falsies because this is what my pathetic lashes look like. <laughs> I messed up and I got lashes on my... Uh, let's see here, what can I do, what can I do, what can I do, I don't have anything, I guess I do. This probably isn't like the best idea if you're a makeup artist, whatever you do. Do not ever do this to your clients. It's just, they probably won't come back if you're this. It's just what I, what I had available to me. So we're going to add just a little bit of glow and then spray and put on some lipstick and we're done. So this is the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. My favorite is the Nicole Guerrero one, but I'm trying to, for the most part, use things that A, I use all the time and my go-tos, and B, also stuff that isn't limited edition that you can still, you know, probably find at the store. So. I always have to glow. That's just a necessity. So I'm just mixing these two lighter shades there. You know what? I might as well just put a little under my brows. Just just for fun. Hey, you know, while we're at it, let's just uh go a little extra. I mean, it's like my middle name. It's really not, but it should be. So what I'm gonna do? I have the Anastasia Dewey set. It was either between this or the MAC. Fix Plus in a uh, pink light, but I wanted to go with this one. And it doesn't have like a lot of sparkle in it, but it just kind of takes away that powdery look, kind of like the Fix Plus does, so you don't look like a walking painting. And then this is one of my favorite lip liners ever the Kat Von D bow and arrow it is bow and arrow it's just I love it so much that it's worn off it's just like the perfect nude where it's not too warm and it's not too pink and it's not too cool really talk when I'm uh putting on lip liner that's a whole different category of talented you can do that Alrighty, and then I am using a nude lipstick from MAC, go figure. This is one of my faves, the OGs. Uh, this is MAC Honey Love. You can tell that Honey Love is well loved. It's just this beautiful peachy, it's not really that peachy though. It's more on the natural type of so there is honey love and we love it i love it i mean you can't like put on lipstick and then just not make that sound 
And then I feel like this is what the one thing that makes your makeup look or your look that you have done go from zero to wow. And we're going to wear these ones. Just a little bling on here Tuesday. You got that. You got that. And then I would probably just do a little something more, possibly just uh, put it up in a bun. Maybe you can see one of my tattoos. I have angel wings on the back of my neck. I actually have. Oh, five tattoos so this is my final look and in normal life where I'm not filming it I can get all of this done believe it or not in approximately 10, 15 minutes. So here's what I look like today. This is my no makeup makeup routine. I'm gonna try to link everything that I used. If I didn't explain something well, feel free to ask in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed and next up, We'll either be talking about depression or I'll be giving away makeup. <laughs> so, yeah, that just uh, basically sums me up in a nutshell, just all over the place. Anyways, you guys, I hope you have a great day or night or whatever you're doing at whatever time this is. I love you. Make sure to hit the bell. You don't want to miss the giveaway or the depression. <laughs> so I love you guys. I hope you have a great day and take care.